Hello. In this lesson, you're going to get a very, very quick introduction to the V-Ray Fur and how this works and basically what it is. Okay. So if you want to follow along, you can go back to your proxy starter, underscore zero one, and we can get started. Okay. Now, if you remember, we've got an infinite ground plane here. Okay. We've got, and I've got my, my um, VFB is actually running right now. I've got my proxy rocks that I brought in. I've got a proxy tree that I've brought in. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is, as you can see, I have a texture map applied to the grass here. But if we rotate it up and we look at it pretty closely, right? And I've got this in um, a pretty uh, rough rendering just so the machine doesn't shut down while I'm doing this. But you'll notice it doesn't look real. It doesn't look flat. Okay. Now, what we can do is we can add yet another V-Ray object to this to m make it appear as if we've got um, some grass. Okay. And that object is called fur. So if you notice, we go up here to our, we're, if we're in our V-Ray geometry, you'll notice we have an infinite plane and we have something that's called a rock proxy too, which is this one right here. Okay. Now, what I want to do is add some fur, and I just want to add fur to this little plane right here, which is actually has the grass texture on it and is floating. And the reason for that is I really only want to be adding grass to very, very small areas of my model, things that are like going to be in the close-up, uh, because if I have a gigantic model and I try and add fur to the whole thing, it's going to more or less shut my machine down. Okay. Now, that can be found, the V-Ray fur can be found right here where it says add fur to selection. So you'll notice I've got my surface selected already. So I can click on add fur to selection and bam, as I did that, you get some default fur there. Okay. Now, as you can see, that fur looks more like um, really, really dangerous pieces of bamboo. Okay. So what we're going to do is we are going to modify that a little bit. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my fur object or highlight my fur object. I'm going to go down here to the right click on this panel here and I'm going to open things up. Okay. Now there's just a few different settings here. All right. Now I've already played with this a little bit. Um, so I kind of have the settings more or less dialed for this particular size of object. And unfortunately this is something you're going to have to work through uh, each and every time. Um, you'll get used to it uh, eventually, but uh, you do have to tend, you do tend to need to work through it quite a bit. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is first uh, I'm going to go through these things up here where it says you have you have the option of per face or per area. I'm going to leave it at the per area, which means um, the amount or the distribution of these blades of grass or fur are going to correlate to this particular area, not per surface, because if it was every surface, then it would change as the area changed. OK, now where it says count right now it says six. So it says I want six in this area and you'll notice you've got a max of a million. I don't want to put a million in there. I just want to make it look like I've got a little bit of grass there. Just want to create some shadows. So I'm going to type in 300. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to skip the density map for the time being. And like I said, we're just doing some quick bare bones settings. Now if I uh, click, if I've selected the count and I click over here, Watch what happens. You're going to see my count change a little bit. So as you can see, I've got a lot more fur on here. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny, actually. Um, I've got a lot more fur, but it seems a little bit uh, large and a little bit tall, right? So right now, my length is set to 4. I'm going to take that length. If that's 4, I'm going to say, what does 0.5 look like? And there we go. And uh, now it looks like we've mowed the lawn a little bit. So I'm going to zoom in here and take a better look at what I have going on in the grass. Um, it's really, really thick, but the height is not bad, right? Um, and where it says 0.5, I think what I'd really like to try is 0 0.05. And I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And you can see it's quite a bit shorter. And now we're starting to get, it's very, very large, but we're starting to get kind of some interesting shadows um, underneath uh, what's going on here. So now my thickness seems a little bit too wide. So right now with a thickness of 12, let's just go to a thickness of one and hit okay. 
and if I begin to wait for this render to update and it does take a while now technically I would be rendering by region right here but for some odd re for some odd reason uh, I'm not able to render by region on my V-Ray is very very buggy today so so my thickness is now one I'm gonna try uh, points as you can see that's way too thick so I'm gonna try point zero zero five for a thickness and click on that and bam it actually got so thin that I can now once again I can actually see the grass underneath it but now I can see something that's beginning to look like real grass these gray areas here these are, this is my fur right and that's gonna um, cause get me some highlights and it's also going to give me some shadows when I'm starting to render and so we're starting to look uh, that's looking pretty good now the taper is 0 0.9 I'm gonna turn it to just 0 0.5 and I'll hit OK All right and that means it's not quite as pointy alright and now gravity is minus 3 I'm gonna leave the gravity at that that's the default okay now the bend is at 5 which means it's got quite a bit of bend to it so I'm actually going to say 0.25 and that's going to make that grass look quite a bit straighter more vertical kind of like it was freshly mown uh, now I'm going to go to my global scale I'm going to leave that at 1 I'm going to leave the knots at 5 okay now I'm not going to concern myself if we look under the um, variance here we can actually change these things as well right I'm gonna go ahead and close that but like I said this is a very very quick um, uh, setup now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my material alright make sure that's open and I'm gonna click here to turn it on right it's basically got a material override on it now and with the material on it still has no material to it okay now what I could do is I could click on this little guy here and find a texture map and go back and find it but I want this grass to match the same grass that I already have on this surface It makes a lot of sense right so what I have the option of doing right here which is material none and this little triangle here I can click on this little triangle like so and that gives me a list of all the materials in my scene so I'm gonna select grass 200 and BAM there we go so as I begin to move out we can see over here on the video we've got some pretty nice looking fur all right so if I zoom out even farther compose this image you'll see this looks quite a bit nicer than just one big flat surface of grass okay that is a very very quick introduction to fur and again those settings really only work on this particular scale right but hopefully uh, you can adjust these settings so that they work on whatever scale your particular model is okay I'm gonna stop this lesson and I will see you in the next one thanks very much